Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another Rev Review. Um, today we're going to talk about the Pearl Izumi Pro Road V5. So, um, as the name implies, it is the fifth iteration or version five of their Pro Road shoe. And honestly, this is a shoe I probably would have never considered. I run a shop that is an Italian theme store, so I sell a lot of Italian brands for shoes, helmets, and um, even my power meter pedals are an Italian brand, but bikes, uh, just clothing, accessories, so many things uh, that I want to differentiate myself from other shops in the area that carry of more of the mainstream brands. I want to be able to carry something more unique and more exclusive. And for a lot of the brands that I carry, I am the exclusive shop for that brand. So I probably would have never considered Pearl Izumi until I started kind of, I don't know. I, I have a problem with shoes, by the way. <laughs> I have like one pair of running shoes that are also my work shoes. So that probably work shoes slash running shoe. I don't do much running anymore. But I have... I don't know, at least 10 pairs of shoes. So I, I do have a problem with shoes. I just love how different a shoe manufacturer can make a shoe and the materials, the fit, their function. It, it's just it's just really attractive to me to buy shoes. And I buy shoes, in my opinion, um, as a test, but... <laughs> I guess I'm fooling myself as well. I'm in denial. I have a shoe problem, but that's another thing. Anyway, before I go into the review, I just wanted to uh, thank you all for subscribing to the channel. We're up to 550 or so subscribers, and I thank each and every one of you for uh, tuning in, watching the videos, subscribing and liking, and, and those of you who make comments, I appreciate those as well. Um, so please like, subscribe you know hit that little notification bell so that you know when i've released another video and before we go too far um this is a goofy thing i do here and and it's a swear jar if you've ever had um a parent or a family member who teases you about your language i have this swear jar in case anyone ever says amazon internet or online in their comments, I look at them straight in the eye and I say, I've been busting my hump for the last eight years trying to build this business. And here you're talking about Amazon, whatever, standing inside my brick and mortar. And then all of a sudden they are, they realize how rude that must be. So I do it as a joking, type of thing but I, I do want people to understand that it's a very very difficult thing to run a brick and mortar location and we are very relevant to um, a large segment of the population that still need the expertise and the advice especially from me personal experience I ride something I test it and I tell my customers about it but there's people that need their bikes work done and just don't know how to do it or don't care to learn how to do it. So, end of rant. Let's move on to the review. These are my own personal shoes, and I've been riding them for several months. And as I mentioned in the intro, I, I just would have never considered this shoe, but I wanted a white shoe. <laughs> These are very, very difficult to keep clean, by the way. But I wanted a white shoe to replace one of my other shoes that I've had for a while. And I t I've torn these up so bad that they've become my gravel shoes, if you will. So um, they're road shoes because I ride road pedal power meter and I don't have power uh, for graveling mountain biking. So I keep using these tore up road shoes, which were a $500 shoe, but now they've been 
they have now been put to use for graveling and so they're all tore up but I wanted a pair of white shoes to replace those now one of the things that really appealed to me about this shoe is that this is a net a knit upper and if you zoom in closely you're going to see that this is actually a you could see the knit weave and you can see a hard plastic section here this is welded onto there um, there are no seams in this and I can put these shoes on and I really don't even have my boas attached so hopefully you can see all the way through that this is all just one big knit uh, upper and around your ankle here all this compression and this is i mean this fits like a sock without any exaggeration this is an extremely comfortable shoe but it's really going to depend on how do you like your shoes to fit some people like a little bit of extra room they like their foot to move around a little bit um I believe I probably could have gone up half a size. I typically wear 45 in Shimano and Pearl Izumi shoes. And this shoe probably, um, I probably should have gotten a 45. It's a 44.5. Um, it fits really, really snug. I wouldn't say it's tight, but maybe I could have gone with a 45. Um, but this shoe is unbelievably comfortable and you know one of their main focuses was to cut down the weight of their previous version four shoe and so you can see here with the in with the carbon sole they've removed material where they didn't think it was necessary to have so i want you to you know be able to take a look at that and you will see the difference of the version four, okay? So now you can see this is a full on sole. There's, no, there's just a little ventilation here, but that's it. So this is the version four and you're gonna see a dramatic difference in how this shoe is made uh, that knit upper is um, just a completely different way to have your foot be encased so they've reduced weight everywhere you've got reduced weight in the knit upper you've got reduced weight in the sole but honestly you really don't want to only focus on weight. You want to focus on how the shoe fits and how it feels. And because this knit is so um, embracing of your foot, your boa, or in my case, I basically just, you know, I close it. I just cinch it down just so that it is, um, not loose but other than that that's it now when you go to put these on if you've got socks that are a little bit um they're not nice tight on your foot as you're trying to put your foot into this hole here uh sometimes it'll bunch up so you just got to move your your heel back and forth a little bit and then the, you know the the sock will not be knotted up but this is very very comfortable inside here it's just nice uh, cushioning all around your ankle I, this shoe I, I, I mean i'm just so surprised at how good this shoe fits um and <laughs> You know, I've gotten it dirty. It's just, it's very hard to keep clean. So if you're not that fastidious about your things, white shoe is not the one for you, but they come in black. 
They also come in, uh, I think they call it atomic red. And, um, but if you go to clean this shoe, I've just been able to use just plain old Dawn and a scrub brush and just clean I, I, a lot of this, especially this front end here, this around and, you know, these parts here, you just grab, um, I typically keep Dawn in a, in a spray bottle when I work on bikes and just something as simple as this dishwashing liquid is very good for just cleaning your shoes and then scrub brush and you're able to get this clean. Now this is after, or these shoes right now or after a few rides because I just wanted to show you that they do get a little scuff here and there um, you'd be surprised how many things you bump into when you're wearing white shoes. It's kind of like when you, <laughs> when you, uh, injure your thumb and you just keep everything you're doing throughout the day, you keep hitting your thumb and you're like, oh my goodness, I didn't realize how many times I used or, or would bump my thumb against things. Um, but I'm probably going to wear these again tomorrow. Um, if you're new to my channel, there are social media links down below, uh, Strava in particular. On Saturdays, I go out for 10,000 foot climbing days, usually seven plus hours in the saddle, plus a little bit of time also for, you know, uh, stops to get fluids and food or whatever. And, you know, I spend at least six to eight hours in these shoes and they're very comfortable and they fit me very well. So. I would suggest, you know, you take some measurements or hopefully you have another Pearl Izumi shoe or another Shimano shoe, and then you can compare um, the fit to them. But this is, um, I don't know, I've had these shoes for several months. The first day that I rode these shoes was a video to Mount Laguna. I'll link that in the description as well. That was the first day just completely out of the box. Didn't even ride them around the parking lot. I just got on the bike and did 100 plus miles on it. And uh, it was at least seven hours on the bike that day. But I give these shoes a thumbs up. I mean, these are really, really nice shoes. And, you know, I think they're like $400. I mean, they're most of the other Italian brands that do a knit like this are well over 500 uh, the DMT is one of them. I think uh, Physique does one as well. So um, like most things, Pro Izumi is offering a very good value for the same product you would get some somewhere else with a different label on it, different brand on it. So anyway, that's my review on these shoes. And I do appreciate all of you who have tuned in to watch it. Um, if you have these shoes or you're interested in these shoes, please Put a comment down below and tell me what you think. I know that one of the people that follows the channel quite a bit, Raj, he wanted a review. And I, I just been working on a lot of bikes here in the shop. So I haven't been able to get all the reviews done. I still got a few more shoes. I've got some handlebars. I've got a few other things that I'm still reviewing. So stay tuned. There'll be more reviews coming. In the meantime, we will see you up the road.